Well, thank you very much for uh, the kind introduction and for inviting me to be part of this. Boy, when I was listening to the other speakers, uh, the artists and the athletes and, and the, the thought leaders, I really feel humbled to be part of what's going on here this morning. Uh, and just so no one thinks I'm, I'm really that amazing, I didn't get, I, I came here from, uh, from Japan about a week ago, so it wasn't quite that bad. I'm still suffering jet lag, though. It's really kind of crazy. But I do thank you uh, for uh, uh, having me part of this uh, session this morning. My thoughts for Canada, 150 years, birthdays, anniversaries, those are always really great times to look back and maybe uh, kind of vision, where do we want to go next? Where have we come from? And I think uh, it's fantastic that we're already starting to look at 2017 as a country and say, what do we aspire to be? When I was uh, writing the book, The Boiling Frog Dilemma, one of the metaphors I used is, you know, in the world of 101 flavors of ice cream, Canada seems to be vanilla. We're just a little bit under the radar screen somehow internationally. We're just not really kind of top of mind. When I was in Japan, I was having a bunch of conversations. And as I'm, I'm typically curious about what uh, other cultures and what other people around the world think about Canada, uh, I usually find in my travels that when people think about Canada, they think very good things. They just don't think about us often enough. We're vanilla ice cream. As a child, I used to love maple walnut ice cream or bubblegum ice cream. And I used to ask my mom, well, why do you always buy vanilla ice cream? I always wanted tiger ice cream. I said, Mom, why can't we buy tiger ice cream? And her words and the wisdom only a mother could come up with is, well, you can't serve that with pie. You know, that was her solution, why you need vanilla ice cream. And you know, there's a lot of wisdom in that. Vanilla ice cream especially complements other things. It doesn't sort of be brash and stand out there alone like tiger ice cream or bubblegum ice cream, which you're very soon going to get sick of. Vanilla ice cream complements. And by the way, vanilla ice cream, I did a little bit of market research, 40% of all ice cream sold in the world is vanilla. So there are some virtues to being vanilla ice cream, and I don't call a Canada vanilla anymore in a derogatory fashion. I think we should actually be proud to be a bit of vanilla ice cream. Nonetheless, I think there are things Canada needs to do to increase its profile internationally. And I think we need to do it in order to complement what is going on in the rest of the world. Our, our uh, profile internationally, I want to identify two, or suggest maybe two areas particularly. One is in sustainable energy. And when I was listening to Gareth Lewis earlier, I, I already have hope for where we're going in the country when I listen to young men like that from the energy industry talk about the vision for Canada as an energy player around the world. Because we need to move beyond just being a hydrocarbon superpower. We need to be the engineers, the technicians, the know-how, the bright people of the world to take that experience and to take that knowledge to the rest of the world and to show them, in fact, how we can power ourselves as a, as a global economy in an energy self-sufficient or, or a, a, a environmentally responsible way. When I said that the world doesn't often think about Canada enough, Actually, that's not true really anymore. In some ways, they think about us actually quite critically for some of the things we've done around the environment uh, and in ways that I think perhaps we deserve. Now, I'm a supporter of the energy industry, but I think we've got a lot of work still to do. And I'd like to see 2017 become sort of an inflection point where Canada now is a leader in environmental responsibility, particularly around our energy resources. So that is one area in sustainable energy. The other area I'd love to see Canada become a global leader in and the rest of the world looking at Canada and saying, yeah, we need more of that, is in education, post-secondary education particularly. Again, as I have uh, some of the research I was doing on my book, uh, I found that students, young people in emerging economies, China and India particularly, there's different tiers of schools that they're trying to get into in the rest of the world. The United States and Great Britain are the tier one universities and colleges that they're trying to get into. Tier two would be countries like Australia, New Zealand, and some other European countries. And Canada, our universities and colleges fall into kind of a vague tier three. They don't really think about Canada often enough. I'm like, well, why is that? We're not an insignificantly small country. We're much larger, in fact, than New Zealand and sizably larger than a country like Australia. Uh, we're not as large, obviously, as the U.S. or Great Britain, <clears throat> but I question why can't Canada's universities and colleges be in that tier one? 
why wouldn't they look to Canada and saying that's where we want to get our education? Because by bringing foreign students here, the chances are for one thing that they'll stay, which is what, one thing that we really need, the best and brightest of the world choosing Canada, not only for their education, but also this is where we want to call home. But also the blending of cultures, the mixing of ideas and, and, and becoming a more cosmopolitan society like that by welcoming foreign students, and I'm talking about many more foreign students than what we already welcome here, uh, is a fantastic way to do that. So to conclude, I, uh, I, I want to say that I'm, I'm very proud that Canada is vanilla ice cream. We do complement the rest of the world. We need to be thought of a little more uh, frequently, though. We need to raise our profile internationally. And I'm going to uh, rip off a phrase that uh, my good friend Dr. Terry Rock is often quoting. I don't know actually if he made up this, this phrase or if he's borrowed it from someone else. But to paraphrase uh, uh, Dr. Rock, Canada needs to be not the best country in the world, but the best country for the world. We need to be the vanilla ice cream that complements the rest of the world and enhances everything else that's going on. Thank you very much.